What's going on guys, so uh, another video for you, just going to show you how to enter ETOPS uh, so for some situational awareness in the FMC, so you can see it on the uh, nav display. As you can see, uh, currently in route to uh, Atlanta, and we've been cleared direct to uh, gum up by Scottish Control. We're online at the moment, so if you're only ATC, that'll be that but I'll probably just be trying to mute that as much as I can with the video. Today, uh, we're going on Track Charlie, and our ETOPS Alternate 1 will be Keflavik, which is Bravo India Kilo Foxtrot, and Goose Bay, which is Charlie Yankee Yankee Romeo. Okay, so where you want to go to enter all this is the fix page, so you can just click it here. You have four pages, and you can enter any nav aids, airports, or uh, waypoints. You can also enter altitudes and times, radials and distant arcs around uh, the navade airports, etc. So I'm a bit weird, I like to go start on page 4, so I can just clear it as I go. So starting off, I'm going to put uh, Glasgow, which is our uh, one of our in route adequate airports, and uh, we're not actually too far from it now, which is Echo Golf Papa Foxtrot, so you just enter it like so, and line select in the box. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter an, about an hour's flying time, which will equal to about 420 nautical miles. The way you'd enter this is a uh, little backslash here, and you enter 420. Enter that in, and if we zoom out, uh, you can see the arc around. Another thing I like to do is click a beam and it will give you a uh, radial when you're a beam uh, X point. Note that doesn't work with coordinates. Next will be our ETOPS alternate one, which is uh, Bravo India Kilo Foxtrot. So we'll just enter that in, and uh, same mileage, 420. Sometimes I like to enter 210, which is 30 minutes, or just 100, but I'm not going to do either today, we don't really need it. The only thing I'll do is click a beam, and uh, since uh, this airport will determine uh, when we enter ETOPS, I've actually calculated the uh, estimated time of arrival for that. Our estimated time of arrival for the ETOPS entry point is uh, 12.58 Zulu. So if you want to enter a time, it will display on the uh, ND. Just enter it like so, so 12.58, and make sure you include the uh, Z for the Zulu. Enter that in the uh, predict ETA out box. And then uh, if we just go to plan mode, we can have a look and see what we've done so far. If we just zoom right out. So here's Glasgow, and you can see where the two arcs intersect, which means that we won't be extant ETOPS until we get over the other side. So if I just step through over 20 west, and you can see our beam point for Keflavik. And you can see 30 West, and here's our estimated time arrival for entering ETOPS. And as you can see, it's actually very close to the 420 miles. Next, what I'll do, uh, we only have one equal time point, and uh, I'll get that off the flight plan, so I'll enter it like exactly I see it. So, North 59, 25, decimal 9, West 043. Two three decimal nine. Oh, there it is. Enter that. I also worked out the uh, estimated in route time for that, and that's thirteen thirty two Zulu. So we'll enter it exactly the same way. And then we go back to the legs page. We can step through again and uh, see what's done. And you can see they're quite close. Uh, sometimes that will change in flight depending on what the winds are doing and your speed. That's all I'll enter for now, so when we pass ETP1, I'll then remove ETP1, enter our ETOPS uh, alternate 2, which is Goose Bay, and then any in route adequate airports after that. One more thing that I like to do is go onto the alternate page and uh, like to enter these manually. So as you can see at the moment they're in auto, you can tell because they're in the uh, small text. So we're going to override that, we're going to put Glasgow and uh, Echo Golf Papa Foxtrot, and you can see it will go to the larger text. We can do the same for Keflavik. Goose Bay. 
and just for our situational awareness we can enter St. John's as well. And you can see what that does is it gives us, uh, when we're in 640 mile range, it gives us little arrows uh, pointing to the airport. So when you're in uh, map mode, it will give you a mileage as well. So that's uh, very nice for some situational awareness. That's it for this video. Uh, just a short one, just showing you how to enter that. I was actually meant to put that in the uh, pre-flight tutorial with the FMC setup, but I completely forgot. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you next time.